Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and the Life Path number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this message. So today, everyone, I'm here with a channel messages reading from your person for all of my Capricorns watching. So if you have Capricorn as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, this reading might apply to you. So yes, Capricorn, this will be a channel messages reading from your person. Your person is whoever is currently on your mind right now. You two may be in separation and communication, maybe at a distance from one another. Just whoever in your heart is your person, that's your person, and you'll know. Before I do get into your reading, Capricorn, please keep in mind that this is a general reading for the sign of Capricorn, so it may not resonate or relate to you specifically, and if it does not, please don't take it personally. Also, please only take what resonates for you, yourself, and your connection out of this reading. But without further ado, Capricorn, let's go ahead and get some messages for you regarding this person and also this connection that's in your life currently or maybe it's on your mind but let's go ahead and get a few cards for capricorn please regarding this person and this connection how does this person feel about capricorn and what do they want capricorn to know what are their emotions towards capricorn we're gonna go ahead and put that card back Let's go ahead and get one more specific card for Capricorn, please, regarding this person. All right, so Capricorn, we have our first four cards here. Before I do show them and get into them, please keep in mind that if I'm speaking from your person's perspective, describing their energy, how they feel, um, that could all be how you feel, Capricorn. The roles could be reversed, just however this reading resonates for you, please take what resonates only. This is also a timeless love reading, any energy I'm describing throughout it can apply to the past, the present, the future of this connection. And if you're not connected to anyone at this time, this could be someone from the past or someone who is coming towards you. But let's go ahead and get into these cards. We have what's mine is yours. It wasn't hard to go after you, you're what my heart desires. I will make time for you because you're special to me. And we also have, I look at you and hope you're in my life for a long time. So Capricorn, um, this could be somebody you've been getting to know, somebody that you're more comfortable with, um, or this could be somebody new. Um, but regardless of the time frame, Capricorn, I feel like when they met you, they were going to do whatever they could to have you. Um, everything that they could do to turn this friendship, this connection into something more solidified, something more solid between you two. So it's like this person didn't hesitate to show their intentions. I feel like um, they were very clear and straightforward. Even if they didn't express it, their actions told you that they were Capricorn. And... With your emotions, you may have fell back easily with this person because you felt comforted, because you trusted their energy. And it's like when we meet somebody like that who is intentional, our, our guard, our wall drops maybe a little bit quicker because we, we just trust it. Like... We're able to separate mature energy from somebody who wants love but doesn't plan on keeping it. And also people who are just into playing games. Um, so I feel like that's the energy with this connection that you have, Capricorn. We still have some more cards to go through, but it's like this person, you're connected to somebody who wants you, somebody who's serious about you, and they're not going to hesitate or stall this connection because you are what they want so first card we'll get into it wasn't hard to go after you you're what my heart desires i feel like this is this person's energy to you capricorn since meeting you maybe they're the ones who 
um, take the initiative because they don't want you to be wondering. They And besides them not wanting to leave you confused, it's it's what they want to do. They want to go towards you. They want to make plans with you. They want to communicate with you consistently. Um, so it's like the moment you two met, started to get to know one another, this person put you in their in their focal point, if um, if that makes sense. Like you were in that in their <laughs> you were in their their direction, Capricorn. So they were going straight to you. We have, I will make time for you because you are special to me. If you've been seeing angel number 444, perhaps 222, um, you can take this as confirmation, but I feel like this is a mutual energy. I'm gonna describe it from this person's perspective. We make time for the things we like. It's it's not hard. Um, So this person likes you, Capricorn, and they wanna make time for you. What's mine is yours. I feel like this is your person's energy. Be open with me. I'm going to be open with you. I'm going to give you the same energy you give me, but not on any mature level. Immature level, that's what I meant to say. Not on an immature level. Um, this person sees that you're open, you're interested in them, Capricorn, like your heart is open. So they're going to do the same, but perhaps... You, Capricorn, you recognize that this person is serious and you're going to be the same. Um, and not just because they're being serious, it's because you want to, both of you want to. Um, but also with this card, Capricorn, it's like I'm willing to let you into my life. And we don't do that with just everybody. So this person really feels like you're you're the one for them. I look at you and hope you're in my life for a long time. This could be a mutual energy, Capricorn. For you, just things going so well and hoping it doesn't come to an end. For this person, it's more like they hope that they they can make you happy or they hope that they can please you. They don't want to disappoint you. All right, Capricorn. So let's go ahead and get a few more cards for you regarding this connection. How else does this person feel towards Capricorn? What does this person want Capricorn to know, please? What should Capricorn know about this person and their intentions? Can we get one more card for now regarding this person? All right, Capricorn. So we do have some new energy here. But let's go ahead and get into these cards we have. I'm so attracted to you and your energy. I don't need you. I want you. Understand that. I'm just going to readjust my camera. We also have, I miss the old times with you. And I was blind to the red flags because I was in love with you. Your love has always been seen by me. So Capricorn, I'm gonna be describing two different energies. Um, and I just wanna remind you all to only take what resonates for you and your connection. Um, so for some of my Capricorns out there, I do feel like I'm gonna, okay, so. For some of my Capricorns out there, I feel like this might be a person from the past. They came in hot. They came in heavy. They went straight towards you. They were confessing how they feel about you, what they want with you. They were on board. Um, so it's like the same energy I previously described, but it's like that energy is Four of Wands reverse in the tarot deck. And Four of Wands upright is marriage. It's, it's commitment. But in reverse, it's more like somebody impulsively went towards you. Um, they were maybe a smooth talker, um, but they did not follow through with any of that. So that's the that's one energy I am getting. So this person might be a person from the past who led you on um, and they somehow left this connection and it was very unexpected. So there may have been some unresolved feelings um, because this person kind of left, did not care about what they started with you. 
So in that case, Capricorn, we have, I was blind to the red flags because I was in love with you. Your love has always been seen by me. I feel like this is your energy, Capricorn. Not really thinking about any doubts or any anxieties or concerns with this person because what they showed you was the complete opposite. And if this energy is resonating with you, Capricorn, I feel like when they switched up, it was out of nowhere. It was in an instant. You may have not seen it coming. We have, I miss the old times with you. I feel like this is a mutual energy in a way from your energy. You miss maybe the times you spent with this person before you really found out who they really are and what they're really up to. I feel like this is your person's energy because despite how they messed up Capricorn or them exposing themselves, I feel like they thoroughly enjoyed you and your energy. But we're going to go back into that prior energy I was describing with um, this being more of a new person, not not a person from the past. We still have some more cards to pull, so we'll know more Capricorn, but we have I'm so attracted to you and your energy. For both of the energies I've been describing, sorry if this is a little confusing, I feel like this is your person's energy, Capricorn. Not denying that they they love your energy, they love being around you. you you make this person feel better, whether it's a new person or a past person. Um, I also feel like this is this person feels like you're the first person in a while, like a needle in a haystack that has your type of energy, Capricorn. This person might feel like everybody is the same, um, but you do things differently. You're different. I don't need you, I want you, understand that. So I do feel like this is a mutual energy between you and this person, this new energy I've described um, since the beginning. On the level of maturity, you two aren't just looking for something temporary. So with that, you two are maybe going towards and abiding by your standards and expectations. And if somebody doesn't do that or if they disrespect you then you're not going to hold yourself up um also with this past person if that energy resonates with you capricorn you being able to turn your back from this person because you don't need them in any way and especially after they did what they did if they did do anything all right capricorn so we're gonna go ahead and get the last few cards regarding um this person any more cards regarding this person that Capricorn is connected to? What else does Capricorn need to know? What is this person's feelings towards Capricorn? What are their feelings and emotions towards Capricorn, please? All right, Capricorn, we have our last three cards. We have, I know you're willing to do anything, but that's not good enough. We also have, do I have an actual chance with you? And heart overhead. So Capricorn, with I know you're willing to do anything, but that's not good enough. With that past person, maybe there is a past person and there's also a new person. Only take what resonates, but with this card, Capricorn, with that past person you had an ending with, if that does resonate for you, I feel like this is your energy. No matter what they do, you don't want them back. Do I have an actual chance with you? I feel like this is the first energy I described, Capricorn. This person, it's not like they're doubting themselves at all or have any insecurities, but it's just like, I look at you and I hope you're in my life for a long time. Them not wanting this connection to disintegrate them, hoping that your emotions, your feelings don't change. They could also just be aware that people are attracted to you other people are heart overhead both of you two are leading with an open heart you're not being in your head um with this card it's like you're not calculating things you're just letting love lead the way going with the flow of the energy that's already there but capricorn i'm gonna go ahead and leave it at that for today as always i appreciate the love and support Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.